qualified to predict the future. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy SDC. You guys asked, I'm gonna deliver. All of you guys wanted to know my predictions. Yo, you want to know my predictions because my predictions are pure plain. I predicted the Cavs were gonna win the NBA championship before the playoffs even started last year. This was like, this was like back at the All-Star break. I made a video predicting the Cavs are gonna win and, the, and they freaking won. You want a prediction for everyone who's gonna win every award this season. All of you guys who are new to the video is thinking, oh, who is he? How is he qualified to make a prediction video? He doesn't work for the NBA. How is he qualified to make a prediction video? He never made a high school basketball team. He never even made a middle school basketball team. Well, you know what I have to say to you guys? I'm not, yo, I'm not freaking qualified. So here we go with my prediction. Out of all the categories, this is the one I am least qualified to talk about. I'm just as much qualified to talk about this as Donald Trump is to be our next president. I don't really follow college basketball, so all these predictions will be based on things that I've read and based on based on like summer league play and as well as against their situation in the league. Chris Dunn, Brandon Ingram, and the people you guys think I look like, Buddy Heal. Honestly, where is the similarity here? Hola, hola, hola. I know this will not just leave out the number one pick. Ben Simmons is out for at least the next three months. That's basically half the season. He's only gonna have like three, two, three, or four months to play, which puts him at a severe handicap to win Rookie of the Year. Chris Dunn, from what I've seen, personally, he reminds me a bit of Damian Lillard. He is a score first point guard, he can score in many different ways, and he's extremely athletic. Based on his numbers alone, he doesn't seem like the best pass, but that's no big deal, yo. That's, that's no freaking big deal. He can learn to pass, and he'll have plenty of great options to pass to play, playing playing in the, playing with the Timberwolves. Brandon Ingram, the man can score. The tweak can set flames to the court. Kind of reminds me of a skinnier, smaller version of Kevin Durant. Yes, I said a skinnier version of Kevin Durant because apparently that is possible. The ability to turn sideways and to blend in with the air on the court is a huge advantage. Apparently he's going to be coming off the bench. I don't think it'll be too hard for him to earn his starting spot. Buddy Heal, the best shooter in the in the draft, yo. A lot of people say, oh, he's the next Stephen Curry. He's the next Stephen Curry because some of his moves remind him of Stephen Curry. He has ridiculous range and a quick release. He's the next Stephen Curry except the shooting guard. Maybe. My favorite to win is Chris Dunn. This is probably the most boring topic, so I'm just gonna get it over with. This is the same three players every year. Kawhi Leonard, Draymond Green, DeAndre Jordan. I don't even know what else to say. Kawhi Leonard can guard one through four. Draymond Green can guard one through five. DeAndre Jordan guards guards the rim. What else do you want me to say here? Kawhi Leonard's gonna 3 P. This kind of excites me. Devin Booker, Kristaps Porzingis, and Nick, N N N N Nicola Yolk, Yolk, Nicola Egg Yolk. Right off the bat, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm 98% sure Devin Booker is gonna win this award. If there was a most improved player over the season award, Devin Booker would have won last year. Quick story, quick story here. I was talking to my friend Martin. I'm a Pistons fan, and this was back in the beginning of the season when Devin Booker was buried on the bench with the Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns were going through some hard times with injuries when they were playing against the Pistons. They called upon Devin Booker to come up off the bench and he freaking lit it up. I think he scored like 18 points on, on, on like seven or eight shots. I told my friend Martin, yo, we need we need to trade for that man ASAP Pronto, ASAP Rocky. That was way too late. The man's gonna be a superstar. He could be an all-star as soon as next year. Speaking of all-stars next year, Kryptos Porzingis most likely will be an all-star next year too. He averaged like what 14 points per game last year, and I think it'll go at least to around uh, at least to around 20 points this year. Nikola Jokic, the other less known Kryptos Porzingis. He's gonna light it up in Denver this year. He's gonna make himself known in Denver this year. If you don't know about him, look him up. Is this just the, the annual Jamal Crawford award here? Basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say Jamal Crawford is gonna be the favorite to win again, and then I'm gonna give the two players who I think could give him the, the biggest run for his money. Brandon Jennings and Brandon Knight. Brandon Knight with Devin Booker's emergence is going to the bench, so he, he's a capable starting point guard. He'd be a capable starting point guard for most teams. Back when he was with the Bucks, he was a borderline all-star. He had a bit of a rough year last year, but off the bench, I think he will be able to beast and feast on some bench point guard. Same thing with Brandon Jennings. He was beasting with my Detroit Pistons before we get into 35 points, 15 assist games. You know, they were just they were making it look easy. Five million dollar deal with the Knicks. And, and it's basically their entire bench. And he might be able to start some if Derrick Rose can't stay healthy. But that'll hurt him in his case to win sixth man. Billy Donovan, Terry Stott, and Brad Stevens. No, I did not include Steve Kerr because with that much talent on the Warriors, that team basically coaches itself. No offense to Steve Kerr, I still think he's a great coach, but unless he goes 85-0 and zero with that team, he, he's not going to win Coach of the Year.
I'm just gonna list the names. I'm gonna list the names. Hate me as much as you want to after I list these names. I'm not qualified to do this in the first place. Who's qualified to predict the future? Kawhi Leonard, Russell Westbrook, and Damian Lillard. And I guess LeBron James too. No, I did not mention Steph Curry or Kevin Durant because the same reason Steve Kerr will not win the coach of the year. That team has too much talent. Unless they go 89 and no, one of those two players will not win. My favorite to win is Kawhi Leonard. Throughout the entire history of the NBA, no player has ever won MVP without the team finishing at least within the top three teams of their conference. And the third place has only happened a couple of couple of times, and I think it was only Michael Jordan who did it. So basically that leaves us the top two teams in the conference. If you look in the West, you got Golden State, probably number one, and San Antonio most likely number two. Kawhi Leonard was the runner-up last year. He's gonna come back better this year because he comes back freaking better every single year. He is probably the obvious choice to win it this year. So Kawhi Leonard, the LeBron James, and if not one of them, then you got Damian Lillard and Russell Westbrook. I'll say if Damian Lillard or Russell Westbrook can get their team to the third spot in the West and have the seasons that we all think that they that, that, that they could have, then one of them could very well win MVP. There you guys have it. Those are my predictions for who's gonna win every award this year. Comment down below your predictions of who's gonna win the awards. Like I said, if you don't agree with my predictions, I am not a licensed prediction expert. I do not have a crystal ball. I cannot see into the future. Like the video if you like the video. And until next time, keep getting the Bucks Team SDC. And we're going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.